Is that a song? <laughs> it's all about you. It's all about you, baby. <laughs> I hope you've all enjoyed the vlog so far. I'm gonna give you a minute just to go and subscribe to the YouTube channel. It'd be really appreciated if you can go and like and also comment on it as well. Um, if you can share this with your friends, that would be amazing. So, I'm gonna give you five seconds to do so. Thank you very much. Remember, like and then comment on below. That would be really great. Thank you very much. And Enjoy this week's vlog. So I just got to the gym and got a new present from Reebok. <gasps> If you see that I'm struggling, I'm trying to do this with one hand. Very snazzy. <laughs> They're clean, it's okay. So usually Monday's a little bit slow. Today we get to see Craig in fancy dress. It's like a leotard, doing his best impression of a seal. And he's got a headband on as well. <laughs> Let's watch him. You know your members are dedicated when they are doing some aerobic work whilst doing some nutrition education. What page are you on, Teddy? Tax diet. <laughs> <laughs> it's delicious. <laughs> this is really um, creepy with the tash. Yes, nice. it is filming. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Nice. This is Shazza! This is gonna be Shazza! Rocky! Right here, right now. Yeah. <laughs> May it's oh, Valentine's uh, Day. Oh, wow. Not exactly Put the, the candlelight dinner I had. <laughs> 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 Mate, your, uh, your sort of little sections in these videos can get worse and worse. I, it, I've been on this way too much. I feel like. Nah, really, not enough. Every I, one so far. You're like Joey and Friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's always I, there. I'm gonna to take that in a positive way. Yeah. I like Joey, he's a good guy. Yeah. Have some sandwiches. Yeah, exactly. Which numbers are these? Vogue for me. This <laughs> is a good option. Um, you say complex. Complex. <laughs> they always got complex stuff on Google. <laughs> <laughs> Um, then it might be the best option for you, but like the guys were saying, like if you can actually do it's question with, time with yeah. James Lee and Phil this um, week. Do some great fun active recovery rather than just rely on active shit recovery. Before, cut to a shot yeah, of no Phil point. doing some active recovery. We think about you. <laughs> it's all about you. It's <laughs> all about you. Is that a song? <laughs> it's all about you. It's all about you, baby. <laughs> I mentioned on the last post about finding your maximum recoverable volume. So the amount of work that you can take before you start feeling the effects of overtraining syndrome. Um, things like broken sleep, um, loss of appetite, Soreness in joints as opposed to like just the muscles sort of motivation all symptoms of an overtraining syndrome So lack of libido lack of libido. Yep this is it. Yep, the guys and the ladies um, Hello lady. oh, Hello oh, ladies <laughs> <laughs> And that tap just makes it worse <laughs> oh. um, So yeah, if you know your maximum recoverable volume then you can start to build a better picture of when you overtrain. So if you know how much volume you're doing the week coming, and it's more than you can recover them from, then you will probably start to see symptoms of overtraining. So yeah. Perform. Perform. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't done much vlogging today, so I'm going to try and get a bit of free content. Let's who can we see? Let's 
Whoa. Superstar. It really works. <laughs> I'm going to introduce you to one of the personal trainers that works at the gym. His name is Tom. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Who he is? The man, the myth. myth, and the legend. Irish Mike. Someone's got to be. Someone, someone has got to be. Mike's the only one that can really fulfil that role, to be honest. <laughs> How was the workout? Evil. Good see you. Good see you, Maggie. Maggie, did you touch the bar? Awesome. Cut you out. Do you want me to pause it? Yeah. Go, it's pause. Pacing, if you're not sure what that is, can be defined as a, uh, a strategy to increase work performance. Okay. Um, so in realms of fitness, we want to be able to, um, Ian's just come in, all dressed up, dapper like. Um, we want to be able to increase our work performance across board time and mobile domains. So that is um, sort of the technical definition, I suppose. When do we want to use this? We want to use this uh, when we're coming to longer workouts. If it's something like a 20 minute workout, I'm going to look at it and say, how can I increase my work performance across this time throughout these different activities and different movements? If that means I have to go out a little bit slower, then I'm going to go out a little bit slower so I can maintain um, the energy output and energy expenditure and work output throughout that period of time instead of falling off a cliff right at the start of the workout. Why do we do it? As I said, we want to be able to increase our work performance across board time and multiple domains. Um, there are going to be times where we ask you to go max effort 100% for a given period of time and that your score doesn't necessarily matter there. Okay? It's all about digging into a into your nervous system, into your body to get a given response. How do we do this then? So when we are looking at a workout, I always equate it and try and um, relay it back to sprinting, or running, and or if you're not a great runner, um, something very cyclical, so like cycling or an assault bike, something where you're not gonna be limited by technical um, ability, uh, skill level or limb and lever length. So rowing, for instance, as a cyclical modality, or swimming would probably be out of the books there. If you can't swim, you're not gonna be able to do a swim modality. So, so hopefully that's given you a little bit, bit of an insight into the um, how, why, and when to use pacing and the need for it. You finish yours? I want to get one, yeah. I was going to see how much. Yeah. Could be a motorbike gang together. <laughs> can you ride a motorbike? No. No, you can't, but I want to. Can you ride a motorbike? I can ride a motorbike. That's three. Go get group lessons, they'll do a discount. Would you like to check it first? Nice. Baller. 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 So, that was a fun, fun evening. Um, just had food with James and Phil at Cow um, Bake there, 500 grand, brilliant. Um, so we also had uh, invited uh, one of the members, Will, along, um, about potentially becoming an intern, which is great at the gym, so we'll hopefully teach him about if he decides to come on, um, teach him about all things coaching, coaching philosophy, coaching methodologies, how to apply the technical knowledge that people learn, degrees and masters, um, just like Will has, how to apply it to normal to, to people. Um, as generally, like, technical knowledge is great, but if you can't apply that to an uh, everyday person, then it's worthless um, and it's a waste of time. Uh, but if you can, and that's a skill that's learned, I think, it's definitely something we've learned over the past four years of owning the gym and working with 
a huge riot of people. Yeah, it's, so hopefully we'll see if it comes on. Decides to, it should be a good, couple, fun couple of months. So yeah, see you later.